far from the glaciers of Iceland, we landed in Stockholm, Sweden, home of the sauna, Rolmop Herring, and some eye-puncturingly good-looking women. Right, we've been in Stockholm, what, about two hours, and I think we've pulled off a bit of a minor miracle. We appear to track down Miss Sweden herself. So in about an hour's time, we're going to go to a bar, enjoy a cool beer, chat a little, ogle her divine loveliness. Um, so I think it's about time I've got ready, really. What? Two days' time, is it? You're travelling to Panama? Yes, that's correct. The Miss World Competition. Yeah. Are you nervous at all, or are you looking forward to it? No, not so nervous. Not yet, but I will be. And the second question is, uh, will you marry me? <laughs> no, I can't be married. No, oh, please. No. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Do you have a boyfriend or? No, I'm single. Really? Yes, I am. That's very interesting. And now, how long are you going to be spending in Panama? Uh, about three weeks. So I'm leaving on the 15th, and then the competition is on Not the bad. third. Good. It's going to be great. Can the girls get quite nasty with each other, or is it, is it good fun? No, fight? it's really friendly. There's no bitchy things there. No, like not at all. hair. <laughs> no, no, no. It's been like, for this, for Sweden, we were like a group. We were eight girls yeah. having a good time. So. Weird. A bumbling seduction technique seemed to be making headway. I began to wonder, where would her delectable Swedish hospitality end? Not, sadly in my hotel room. Helena, thank you very much. Sorry I couldn't spend more time with you, say, the rest of my mortal life. But um, uh, good luck in the competition, and I hope you do well. Bye-bye. Yeah, nice to meet you. Next, on Around the World in 80 Beers, we go behind the old Iron Curtain for some space-age boozing. Tell the world my story.